Hey, what's happening everyone? My name is Josh and today we're in the Knobscot Hill State Reservation. It's basically a Boy Scout Reservation. There's lots of trails, there's some shelters. It's local, it's about 10 minutes uh, from where I'm staying in Massachusetts. So yeah, I decided to do a 30 mile training day. I'm not staying overnight, which I think you can though, so I have to figure that out. What the deal is with that, because that would be pretty awesome. So we're heading up there right now it's not that big of a hill but it's more than i have been doing for the last couple months while working um the wife and i escaped new york city so we've been in massachusetts for about three weeks i've been doing some day hikes and i think next week i'm going to try to get out and do an overnight all right almost Close to the top, I think. Whew. All right, I see a fire tower. Kind of winded after that. It was small, but it was steep. A bit breezy today. There used to be a uh, hole in the fence over there. And you see it go all the way to the top. Right, but we're gonna go down this way. Man, what a beautiful day today. It does say it's supposed to rain, but who knows? I did bring my hammock and tarp with me, so if it does rain, we can stop chill out eat some food don't know where I'm going I think this way I consult with the phone I thought there was a good view on this hill somewhere yeah that's where I'm going Looks like we're going to come up to a road now. Since we are local, we're kind of going through neighborhoods and stuff. It's not the most wilderness, but it's a uh, definitely a nice trail. I'm glad it's here. Where are we going? So we are on the base circuit trail, which is a trail that I need to check out. Um, not sure how long it is. I think the big issue is that there's no legal campsite, so you have to kind of stealth camp. Um, so maybe I'll look into that in the summer. It'd be a nice local trip to do. Kind of a cool branch. <laughs> So I'm also trying out these uh, new shoes to replace my Ultras. They're Topo Athletic. They have about the same uh, stack height as the Lone Peaks. The toe box is not quite as wide. They're a little bit more firm and durable and they have Vibram treads. So that's pretty awesome. Not to be a creeper, but there are some nice houses around here. I'm basically walking through people's backyards. Still following, following this bay circuit trail. We're taking this for a little bit and then it goes into another loop. And then we come back and basically make a lollipop. So we're just connecting a bunch of different trail systems together. No, I think that was the view up there. I'll stop at that on my way back. We're at a little intersection. We're gonna come back that way and we're gonna continue this way. And I think we're going to uh, hit a road soon. It'll be our first actual road crossing. I think we've done like three miles so far. Maybe a little bit more. 
Ooh, blustery. These trees are creaking all over today. Let's cross this road. So we're at Henry's Hill. So yeah, I think we're gonna do this loop here. Oh, actually. So this parking area. And then return here. Something like that. I have to consult my phone. <laughs> Get the actual loop we're doing. Cool place. Very cool place. I guess we're going left. The cool thing about hiking in New England is that you just run into all kinds of cool history. Just like stone walls in the middle of the woods, chimneys, it's very cool. Alright, here's one intersection where I'm supposed to go left. And then this actually connects, I was wrong back there at the map, this actually connects to another state park. No camping here, that sucks. Right, this actually connects to another state park where we do another popsicle loop. So it's hard to get, you know, the miles out here. This feels so good to be out in the woods though. Oh my god, it's been months. I mean, I did a couple uh, day hikes since I've been here, but it's starting to increase the miles now. And boy, my body was not happy originally. Well, it looks like we're going to be doing a little road walking. Alright, just did a road walk through a pretty neighborhood. And now we are back on the trail. So, basically I have to go through someone's yard to get down to the road. And now it looks like I'll have to bushwhack to get back up to that trail back there. So. That's exciting. Where the heck are we? Pretty barn. So now we're entering Callahan State Forest. Now we're gonna do a big loop around here and then basically come up to a different road and then do a good amount of road walking to get back to that trail that we came off of. All right, we were just on a very popular section of trail. So I kind of just put the camera away, charge the battery, and now we're on this really long stretch, the Red Trail. Um, still in Callahan State Park, we're about to cross a main road, I'll have to bring us to the other side of this state park. But yeah, we're about like 6.3 miles in, so about halfway there. Um, total I want to do is like 13 miles today. Um, at least I might add some more on if I see some cool trails But I'm kind of following this loop that I found in all trails. So that's what I'm doing thought it was gonna rain back there a little bit, but it's clearing up again
Okay, I'm pretty sure our map has it going down there. I want to go up here, see if we can get a view, and then cuts back right back down to where we were, where we're supposed to be. All right, we're turning around. Going back down. Nothing exciting up here, but except of course that tennis court. We are going down to BB Pond, I guess that is. So we're taking another detour from the main path, so we can skirt along this pond here. Which looks pretty. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. Oh yeah, here's a little path right here. Take a look. Trying to set up, I want to put the pack down and take a break. I've been going non stop for about seven miles now, so let's keep going a little bit. Uh oh, I feel some raindrops. Maybe if there's a spot over there before we leave the lake, I'll take it. This is very nice. There are a bunch of people around here though, so I'm going to continue on. My legs still feel good, so why not keep walking? The trail's pretty flooded, so I guess we gotta go around. No problemo. Alright, we are on the other side of that pond now. Another chimney. That's cool. Beautiful. Right, I think I'm still on the trail. Crossing a little field here. So something tells me that I'm not on the trail. Okay, now we're back on track. Ooh, this is pretty. So now uh, we are in backtracking mode. So I have the little road walk, and then uh, we're gonna end up back on the trail. Actually, I think I have a little bushwhack too to get up to the trail that we came down on. Uh, but yeah, we're heading back to the car now, so about seven miles, eight miles, so still a ways to go. All right, back in the woods. Followed the road actually all the way back to where I exited the trail last time, so now we're definitely backtracking on the same trail. And whew, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. Still don't want to take a break though. I don't know what's wrong with me. I like walking. All right, we crossed the road. We're hiking in someone's backyard again. And we're about to meet up with the, I guess, second turn off um, that we saw. So we're gonna go backtrack on the same trail for a little bit. And then we're gonna make a left into some new trail. I have to say the uh, topo is working out good. Haven't felt any blisters or rubbing. Um, feet seem okay. Might be a little bit tired, but not bad at all. So, I dig them. Like this is the turn off. So we're gonna go down here. And then, I guess, go that way. All right, the wind's picking up. Clouds are getting kind of dark. I feel like we might have some rain in our future. I did bring some rain gear, so if that happens, we'd be good. I think I am going to hold off on putting on the rain gear, though. I've been doing this kind of off and on all day. Just threatening to rain, maybe some sprinkles, but no downpours yet. So we're definitely back in the Knobscot Reservation now. Uh, if the rain holds out, I'm going to try to hit up uh, this place called Tipling Rock. It's supposed to be a beautiful view which we haven't gotten yet on this little adventure. I think we're gonna go down this way. Of course there's a big X, I don't know. I somehow basically just following this a circuit trail most of the time today. All right, we're right around the 12 mile mark, a little bit over. I feel like my legs are coming back. This is great. I haven't taken a break yet. Just been going all day, 12 miles. So happy about that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Gun it for Tipling Rock. See if I can get it before the rain kicks in. It's not too far out of the way of my original plan, so yeah, gonna do that. Hopefully, get a view. 
Well, that's interesting. I wonder if something's buried there. How odd. Boston, all the way out there. All right, I think we, uh, this is the first time we saw. We are very close to the car. All right, guys, uh, so we've done about 14 miles today. Thanks for joining me on this local COVID-19 training hike. My name is Josh. Thanks for coming along. Hope you guys find time to get outside and escape the indoors. Thanks. <laughs>